Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day out there. We are back here in Dragonvale World, and we've uh, gotten quite far in the game. We've leveled up quite a bit, so we have a lot of new stuff to show you today. And uh, we're going to go through it all, and uh, hopefully share some stuff that we've learned in the game as well. So let's get started. As you can see at the top, we've got uh, level 15. Just getting into level 15 on the way to 16, of course, and our gems are up. Uh, working up to 250 to get this lovely breeding cave here, or the epic breeding cave. Uh, our dragon cache isn't too bad. It was higher before, but we bought a lot of stuff, and our, our food is getting up there. I think this is the highest our food's been so far. So... Uh, that's that's our levels at the moment, and we're going to keep working on those. Now our updates, as you can see, we got nice big habitats here. The fire habitats and the earth habitats are at uh, this cache out here, and we can show you the levels we're at. If we go on uh, info, we're at level four on the earth habitat, and we can't level up until level nineteen there. Fire habitats, we're up to, I think, level 4 as well, yep, and we got level 18 before we can level up on the fire habitats, so we'll cash out, and this is a cool way to collect your food, just tap on the snackery and hit the harvest button and grab it all, and then you can just go hit whichever one you want, like a combination of or the same one, as many times as you have plots. So we hit the Zazberries five times and they just fly in there nice and fast. And we can collect these visitors with the gifts floating over their heads here. You can see them walking around. And they usually have coins. Sometimes they have, uh, I guess, uh, uh, gems and stuff. So we'll cash out some habitats here. We got our new water habitat with our water dragon in it. And we've got this other dragon which I've forgotten the name of, but we'll find out in a sec. The Tropical Dragon. So we got this Tropical Dragon. We can feed our Tropical up to level 7 and maybe go up to 8. Uh, it's pretty cool the way these dragons change. Once you get past level 9, there's another gift. Grab that gift. Uh, as you can see in here, our Earth Habitat, we got this cool dragon here, which is our Dune Dragon. So he's at level 9 and he's grown, I guess this is the adolescent or the youth stage of the dragon. We haven't quite gotten to any adult dragons yet, but I'm sure they look pretty awesome. Can't wait to get up to the adult stages on these dragons. Here's another dragon here. The um, got, a, got a look at him. Underbrush dragon. And you can spin him around and check out this cool underbrush dragon. Maybe we can feed him up to level 10. So those are our new habitats. We've also cleared a new area. As you can see, we got this whole area cleared. And we cleared a whole bunch of uh, rocks and bushes and trees. we got a couple more little forest areas to clear off. There's some gifts again. Oops, I didn't quite get that one. And you clear this. And you see you can get... Uh, Food and stars when you clear these items, which is pretty cool. And of course you saw we have five plots. We've got a new plot. Uh, we can't add any more. If we go into our market here, we need to get up to a certain level before we can add. Whoops, I went to the wrong spot. Into buildings. So you got level 19, we can add another farm plot. So I don't know how many plots you can add. It might be the same amount as in Dragonvale with 11, but we can add another one at level 19. So that's going to be a while before we can do that. And also pedestals. we got some new pedestals down here. There's four we have so far. There's lots to go. There's a little tip on the pedestals we'll show you in a sec as well. And before we get to that, we'll show you a couple of decorations we've got. The bank over here. I'm not sure how it works, but it's supposed to store some dragon cash or excess dragon cash. So 
I imagine uh, once I reach my max up here at the top with my Dragon Cash, it'll start putting it into the bank. And you can only store so much. Uh, right now I can store 2 million Dragon Cash. Uh, and if I upgrade it for a million, I can store up to 5 million. But I kind of need the million Dragon Cash before I can do that, obviously. And we got our gazebo over here. And that really doesn't do anything, it's just a nice decoration and it uh, promotes the gifts, I think, from the visitors. So the more de decorations you have, the more gifts the visitors will give you. So we're going to go hatch our dragons. We've got a couple of dragons here in the hatchery. And this one here, right now, when you ha go to hatch a dragon, before you actually hatch the egg, there's this little display button down here in the bottom left. If you tap that, it'll tell you exactly what the dragon is. Polar dragon egg pedestal. If you want to make it into a pedestal, hit the display button. If you don't, just hit cancel and you can hatch your egg because I don't have this dragon yet. So I want to hatch this dragon. And there's our new dragon and we can place it. Hopefully we'll have room in a habitat somewhere to place it. Right here in the water habitat. And it opens up the book and you get a gem for your new dragon. Very cool. And then I'm going to go into the dragon and feed the dragon and level up the new polar dragon. And we'll go up to level 4 and it'll change at level 4. Just a little bigger. And let's see how much higher we can go with our polar dragon. Don't have much food so I don't want to spend all the food on this dragon maybe one more level and 800 we could probably do let's see what it looks like at level 9 there it goes cool polar dragon can we spin this dragon there we go there's level 9 polar dragon very cool he's got that kind of weird thing in front of his face or hanging in front of his face but that's a neat looking dragon and we have one more dragon here to hatch, but before we do that, we're going to set up the habitat for this dragon because it's a new a fairy uh, habitat, I believe that's what it's called. So we get some, some rewards here from the habitat, and it's a fairy habitat. So we can put two dragons on there, and we can't level it up until level 17, but forest of fires feel a frankly foreign to fairy dragons for fully familiar furnishings, fun and lots of F words here. <laughs> Not the bad F word of course, but and fantastical flora fits fine for sooth and a fancy fairy habitat. Oh, I guess they're trying to write a tongue twister there for us. Try saying that five times fast. Anyways, let's go get our fairy dragon ready to hatch. That was a five hour uh, incubation time and it took five hours before that habitat was ready as well. So again with the display button you can put the egg on a pedestal or see what exactly the egg is but we're gonna hatch this one and here's our new fairy dragon into our fairy habitat and we got a gem for that dragon and we can go get the info see it was a six hour breed time uh, 72 dragon cash an hour I think that's at level 1 so 72 an hour if we go feed it and level it up let's see how high can we go, we can go pretty high there goes the level 4 so it's at 180 an hour now at level 4 And all the way up to, uh, I don't think we're going to make level 9 on this one, unfortunately. We're going to have to wait till we get some more food. But there's our fairy dragon in our fairy habitat, so that's pretty cool. Now let's go see what dragon we have ready to hatch here in our breeding cave. And it looks like 3 hours 59 minutes, it looks like it's 
the thermal dragon again. We keep getting the thermal. We're trying for the new hieroglyph dragon. I'm not sure if we're going to get it, but we're definitely going to try for it. And we're breeding a fire and a earth dragon. There's our cool, uh, I guess as a youth, or level 11 earth, and our level 11 fire is around here somewhere. There it is, flying around. There's our level 11 fire dragon. So we're going to try this again. If you get a one day breed time, that should be the hieroglyph dragon. But we're going to retry this. And the earth dragon and the fire dragon. If we get a one day breed time, no, we got the same breed time. Looks like we're going to get another thermal dragon. So we'll keep trying for the hieroglyph dragon there. We also got some new items in our world map. We got two new areas open, Silver Falls Gorge and the Glimmerverse. And we got some items here ready to go. So we'll grab those. And I don't think these are going to fit. 150,000? We don't have enough Dragon Cash to upgrade the storage. The airship port. So we can't do that. But we got two new areas. If you go into the Glimmerverse, you can see there's a Lucky Orb available, and then there's this other item that's a cheeky flower that'll be available once we get to level 16. And we don't have the dragon for the Lucky Orb, so we just got the fairy, and we got to breed a fairy and a fire to get a dragon that'll go out and get the Lucky Orb for us. So we'll go out of here. In Briar Falls, we got the same items, but we got a spice flower. We've got to get a dragon to get the spice flower, and the other ones are the same as before. But we got the lava orb, fire sand, and jungle loam. But we got five items here that we can't put into our storage. So let's go over to our storage. This just tells us the airship's ready to go. And we'll go into our storage and see if we, we want to get rid of five items. So we're going to get rid of the jungle loam here. We got 32 jungle loam. So we can get rid of five, maybe six jungle loam. Oh, we got 149. So we could get rid of four if we wanted to and make still have room. But we'll get rid of five. And jungle loam, before I put them in the market, I'm going to go over here to our map and see how much jungle loam is. And that's 30 dragon cash for each jungle loam. So if I went in here and picked a dragon and I wanted to get five, it cost me 150 dragon cash. And it would take almost an hour to get it. And if I wanted to get six, it'd be 180. And it'd take me just over an hour to get it. So it's 180 dragon cash for six. So if I get out of here, I go back to my park and into my market and open up my market and I'm going to create a sale and I want to sell jungle loam and I want to sell let's say six and I'm going to set the price at 200 because you're really saving an hour. I think when you buy this stuff can't get it right on 200 for some reason. There we go. I think when you buy this stuff, you know, you're, you're getting it right away, so you're not waiting an hour. So I'm just adding another 20 dragon cash so I get a bit of a profit there and people will get their jungle loam right away. So I'll put it on sale and see if I sell my jungle loam. And also you can go into Shop World to see what else is for sale. And right now we have two lava orbs. And I don't think there's anything for sale in the Friends. No, nothing for sale in the Friends. So we'll see if we sell our jungle loam. And then once we sell that, then we can put in those other items. But let's go to our airship. And oh, look at that. <laughs> we can put nine of those in. So that'll save, that'll create some space as well. 
And they want 28 of these, the icy soil. They only have 12. And then they need this, uh, the spicy flower. And let's see what dragons they have. A, la a labyrinth dragon, which I don't have. A dune dragon, which I do have. And a geyser, which I don't have a geyser. So keep in mind, when you do fill these crates, you do get the rewards for each crate. So you don't need to fill all these crates, but if you do, then you get the rewards for the the entire, I guess, shipment. And you can send off the airship. So you'll get up to eight gems if you fill all these items. Um, I don't find it worth it if I don't have the dragon. Uh, by the time I, I breed the dragon and incubate the dragon and go get all the items, you know, I'm to speed all that stuff up, I'm spending more than eight gems. So it's, not really worth it trying to get the stuff if you don't have it most of the time but if you do have it then fill all the crates and get all the rewards so we go back into our storage and now we got lots of space because we filled that crate so I'll go into our world map and get the items there we go and we got a free spin from that so let's see if we can get some gems this time We've been getting lots of dragon cash and food and no gems. Oh, we just missed the gems. So 6,000 dragon cash. And well, we can try one more spin, see if we get the gems this time. No. Oh. Oh, we got some food. 720 food. So we get out of there and we go back to our airship we can see what we need here and the icy soil we need 28 icy soil so we can go get some icy soil and we go to our we're kind of low on our lava orbs everything else looks pretty good so let's go get some Icy soil. A woolly dragon to level 8 we're going to send and let's see how many we can get. That's going to take a couple of hours so we'll send that. And we're going to get some more lava orb. And we don't need too many. 8's fine. And we can't, we don't have dragons for the Glimmerverse yet so we can't send any dragons to get stuff there. So I'll wait until those things are ready and then we can fill our crates once we have enough. So moving on, we got some new decorations. If we go into our market, we can check out some decorations here that we got. And a couple of flags. We can get our fairy flag. <laughs> Wave your fairy flag high. Um, we've been putting all our flags over here. Wait a minute. This way. Let's see if we got room for this one. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. It's going to fit. There we go. And we'll just turn it. And I don't think we have room for any more flags, but we'll go get the other flag, which is the frozen flag, which we do not have. And we'll grab the frozen flag. And we don't have, well, we got room there. So let's see how it looks. Whoops. Keep spinning it around in circles. So there we go. We got the frozen flag. And there's a few other decorations available now that we're at level 15. And we're going to, let's go grab the windmill. We got some rocks. Trees, we got the gazebo, there's a bridge here, the cold cauldron, we have the altar, and you got some medium forest group, and the water flag we have, we got the post, we got most of these other ones. When we start decorating our park a little better, we'll get some hedges, and we got the mailbox, and the, here's some new paths, the stone path, the water path, that looks pretty cool, 
brick paths. We'll get into paths a little later on. So let's go get our windmill and put that into the park. And we can put it, let's put it right over here. We got room. There we go. Maybe beside our bank. And we got some rewards here. That's cool. And there's our new windmill. Be interesting to see what decorations become available in the higher levels as we get up to around level 20 and, and over. So we got some gems available. We got one gem here we can collect from our friends. And we got a whole bunch of new goals we got to achieve. Collect the Fox Glow Dragon. There's a new one. And we got a whole bunch of dragons. If we uh, run, of, run out of ideas or don't know what dragon to get next, we got a whole bunch of goals here. And a rainbow dragon there. And this one's our pitcher dragon. And then there's some... Put an item on sale in Sylvia's trading post. Well, I've done that. I guess I need to buy an item to get this reward. So that's not difficult to do. And casting spells. We're going to do another uh, a video on spells a little later on. So keep an eye out for that. And got a one cold cauldron. That's not a bad reward. And upgrade the snackery. And build one stone bench. Well, we've already built a stone bench. And unlock a park expansion and upgrade the bank. So maybe we'll go buy something in the market. You can see here our next expansion is over here. And we need 750,000 dragon cash or 75 gems. And I don't want to spend the gems until I get that epic breeding cave. So that's our next expansion. We'll probably start saving up to do that because we're quickly running out of room here in our park with all these really huge habitats. So let's go buy something in them. Oh, it looks like we sold. We sold our jungle, jungle loam. Very cool. So that's gone. We've got 20... What, 20 Dragon Cash profit on that? Wow. Big, big money. So let's see what's sale, for sale here in the world. And fo ooh, Foggy Dew. We could use some Foggy Dew. Let's see, 24,880 for 10 Foggy Dews. Those I other items went fast. So let's go see how much Foggy Dew is. For 10. Oh, we can't check it out. Oh, lousy, man. Okay. Well, let's go get it anyway. We may be paying more than we need, but Foggy Dude... Whoops. Oh, sorry. Let's go back in our market and buy the Foggy Dude, because it does take a long time to get 10 Foggy Dudes. And we're going to buy, oh, what's this? Oh, here's four. Well, it looks like it's about the same. So let's get 10 of these foggy dews for 24,000. And there they go into our storage. And we get our reward. So a bit more dragon cash and some food. And let's go out of there. All the items are sold. We sold our jungle loam. So that's cool. And a new thing, the game just upgraded recently. A new thing up here in the top by dragons. We got a 54. And that number keeps changing. And I'm not sure what that means exactly. But we have 23 dragons now. They've added a new dragon up to 143. And I'm not sure if that 54 means there are 54 available. 
or there are 54 total dragons available, including the ones we've already gotten. I'm not sure. But it might be there's 54 still to get that are available, because we've added these exclamation marks beside all the ones we haven't got yet. So I'm thinking that's what it might indicate. So we still have 54 dragons available to get. So we'll get out of our Dragonarium. And see, now that we've gone out of it, the 54 number is gone. So it keeps popping up every once in a while, and then we go in and check it out, and then the number goes away. And you can also see our Dragonarium has changed. As we get more dragons, the building changes. It's looking pretty cool right now. It's got some it's got some glass, cool uh, colored glass on it and a bit of decorations around it. So it'd be interesting to see what it changes into. And it also here in the Wizard Hall, it changes as you complete more achievements. You can go into there and we still have lots of achievements here to get the dragon food and leveling up. We're almost there at leveling up our dragons. We got nine more levels to go. I wonder if we can get that one right now. And we got clearing obstacles and all the stuff that you normally do in the park. So as you do all this stuff enough times, you get an achievement. And then some gems. But level up, level your dragons 200 times. You got nine more levels to go. Let's see what we can do here. Here's a level five dragon. So we can go one, two, three, <laughs> almost out of food. Went up three levels there. I'm gonna find a lower level dragon. There's a five. There's a couple of fives here, so there's four. And, oh, no, we're not going to have enough. So we level up four. There's another level five. One. So we'll be able to level up. All the way. So that was four more levels. Let's see where it is at the moment. Our achievements. Yeah, so we added four more, so we got five more levels to go, and we'll get our ten gems, which will be very cool. Okay, well that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a bit more info on playing Dragon Veil World. Please leave a like or a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Dragon Veil World. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>